Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you this great new innovative test tube setup. This idea came from Daifu. His link to his channel will be in the description. And this idea came from him. And yes, I did get permission to use this idea in this video. So again, 100% credit goes to him. This is a great idea and a great innovation to use to test tubes. So I did a video about it to spread this. So guys, share this video to give this idea to all ant keepers. And I'll talk to you guys about this and how to make this. So firstly, a few pros and cons about these things are as followed, being pros first. So firstly, this thing doesn't mold on light cotton setups. This enables you to, to use this uh, test tube longer and you don't have to move the colony every time it um, molds. Number two is that it is reusable, making the setup more eco-friendly and saves ant keepers money. Just disinfects it really well and you can leave it under the sun to dry. These things are also really cheap, so saves you a few bucks for more important things like ant food. And well, the first con is that the water is able to pass through, but you can prevent this by making the sponge layer thicker. So unless, for some odd reason, you shake ants in a test tube, your ants shouldn't drown. Experiment with your test tubes and find the perfect size to not leak before you use the test tube for ants. To make this test tube set up, you'll need any colored aquarium filtering sponge. If you can't find aquarium filtering sponge, then you can also use aquarium filtering fiber, which is in between cotton and sponge. Not that many spores, but still soft. A pair of scissors and some water. Okay guys, so first step is to cut the filtering sponge to get it into your test tube. You should always cut bigger than you think so that you can squish it into the test tube. So for this setup, the more the better. Just for reference, a sponge this size for this size test tube should be good. Cutting this sponge two times is as big is ideal. Now fill it with water until however much you usually do. Then you squish the filtering sponge into the test tube. Just to ensure that larger ants can actually get the water, push the cotton a little further down until you see some water flooding above it. Then just dry the water that came out. And well, your new innovative test tube setup is done. But for those that couldn't find aquarium filtering sponge, you guys can use aquarium filtering fiber. And to make the aquarium filtering fiber test tube, what you do is you cut it up to size. Um, this time you cut it up to three times as big. So this one is a little thinner than the aquarium filtering sponge. So just cut it maybe as big as you think. And again, experiment as you go. So guys, that is the innovative test tube setup. I personally love this because I get to save money and it's eco-friendly, but also because it comes in blue, which gives good clarity of the ants and the brew. And well guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'll see all of you guys in the next week. Have a good one. Bye.